So Vendita has been around since 2008. We are a data-driven company. We started our roots in working with companies like IBM, Canadian government, and we've been able to help them with their data needs, managing the data within their organizations. From that, we recognize a fundamental problem. It was about how people are managing data and how they're doing it differently across the organization. So we built a product called Master Automation Solution called Moz. The tool basically provides business continuity, operations, and data management. Next slide. The fundamental problems that organizations are having, and we got huge statistics about the amount of data that's growing every year. The other thing your people are doing with is trying to find resources that know how to manage the data that's inside of organizations. If you've gone out to the market and looked at these types of resources, they're very expensive and they're very, very scarce. The other thing is when it comes to managing this data, the legacy systems that have been out there are mainly 20 years old or older. I know we have representatives from Microsoft on the, on the line. Some of the tools that they have to manage your databases have been around since you know the 90s. Next slide. Our validation on this, there's 2.5 quadrillion bytes of data created every day, and 90% of the world's data has been created in the last two years alone. Well, that's great that we have all this data out there, but if you don't know how to manage it, you can't fundamentally go into business intelligence. You can't fundamentally get your artificial intelligence tools to work, and you're never be able to get your big data analytics that you're looking for. And the problem that organizations end up having is down here. $3.1 billion in lost revenues. We actually have a statistic about how much businesses lose in efficiencies per year from Gardner Group is almost $10 million on an average. And then losing customers is almost 20%. So by the fact they're not able to manage their data efficiently, they're fundamentally running into just basic business operational challenges. Next slide. How is it done today? If you go in, most of your data is housed in one of these different databases. And we handle the five major databases that are out there all under one single pane of glass. So what happens is if you go to Oracle, you end up having 37 clicks to be able to manage how that data is constantly coming into the data, it's into that database, and how do you handle the backups and the monitoring and all that. You have to go to a bunch of different clicks. Now you got, and go to all these different screens. Now you got Microsoft. I got to go to a whole nother set of screens. Then I have a whole bunch of different decisions and a whole bunch of other clicks. Now, wait a minute, I've got somebody in my business said they brought in, you know, Shadow IT and Maria, Maria DB, or now we want to go to Postgres. And now you're the, 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 the database administrative team and you got to manage all these different systems, lots of different tools and lots of different inefficiencies around that and lots of different decisions to manage that. Next slide. This is what Moz does. It's one single UI for all those databases in your organization. It's real simple. You pick the job you want to run as a database administrator. You pick the database you want to run. You select that database and you hit submit. It's that simple. No more 37 clicks, 27 clicks from different, different screens, different user interfaces. It's all done in three simple, simple clicks and all that knowledge is housed in there. And if you put specific IP in there, we actually maintain that in what we call a query wallet as well. So you have the same three clicks, no matter whether it's a customized or comes, and Moz also comes with most of those processes built into it. Next slide. Fundamentally, Moz is the foundation you have to have in your organization to manage your databases. It's just what you need to have in there because you're never gonna be able to get to this digital transformation because you're not going to get more resources to help you make that transformation to the cloud or maybe go to help, help, help you with your big data um, projects you've got in or do your business analytics to help you make better decisions. We do automation, consolidation, and visualization of your databases and all the data that's on there with a foundation it takes to build your digital transformation. Next slide. Here's a lot of other points that we have. We can go into these. One of the things, if you look at the bottom, we are one of 10 companies that actually are a verified tool. So we used our roots to talk about how we um, go to our roots about software and software compliance. We're one of 10 companies that can come into your organization and tell you how much Oracle you're using today. We also have the same capabilities with Microsoft across the database. 
tell you what you're using today and what you're out of compliance with. Next slide. We did a lot of validation. So we already did a study in there. One organization we found out we could be, we can make them 42% more efficient. It wasn't we got a red, red of people. If they wanted to, there was $378,000 of savings. We've taken this to the to Pentagon. We got support from the CTO. Gardner Group's validated this. We're the only platform in the marketplace that has a single pane of glass that does this operations across all these databases. We also have support from Oracle as well with our uh, verification of our compliance. Next slide. 30 second warning. Um, this is the market we have. We're not looking at the tools that the OEMs provide, but we are just looking at the open, the tools that are on the market today. And we already have a $10 billion mark, um, uh, market cap. Total addressable mark. Next slide. We looked at the market itself and all the competitors that are out there. If you look at software asset management, most of those tools are millions of dollars in two years to implement. If you're looking at automation, there's mainly OEM tools that are out there, but then you got to go buy another OEM tool. When it comes to monitoring, there's lots of monitoring tools out there. It's a saturated market out there, but they do not do the database operational efficiencies. We're the only one to have the automation, software asset management, and then we also gather all the data around the database you need for your SOX compliance. Next slide. This is where we are today. Moz 4.5 was just released here at the end of uh, June. We've just gotten to the marketplace. We're, tar we're targeting 65 new customers with, with at a, about 75,000 each. And we think that's actually a small number. We've got a number of partners that want to take it today. We're looking at next at the following year, we have an ARR of over 3 million, about a $10 million business by the end of 23. Our traction that we have today, the full version is allowed. We've used different parts of the product. We just now brought it together under one platform. We've got more than 20 customers we've almost we've got either in the pipeline or sending quotes out to. We've got inbound, we brought in our three reps. We've got incubators coming to us and asking to help us into the oil and gas. And we got them through Deep Tech gentlemen. So I wanna thank you for that. Next slide. This is the team. I've worked for IBM, I've led Half billion, half billion dollar projects. Gene is the one that keeps track of all of our money, make sure we don't spend more than we should. And this is really Bill's technology baby. He's published books, he's a DBA by trade. He's built these types of tools in the past. He's the one that really has the technology behind it. Next slide. It's simple. This is a seed round for us. We're looking for three, $3 million to get started. We have it laid out. And then we're gonna do a series A funding round sometime um, in 2024 is what we're expecting. Any questions? Open up the floor. Any questions for Doug? And Vendita. Doug, I think you did a really good job explaining yourself and the no questions related to you. <laughs> Thank you. Last chance for a question for Doug. I'll ask one quick question. Doug, considering where you're at and the money you're raising and the fact that you've already made it simple from 37 clicks to one simple system, what's the plan with money? Um, it's mainly expansion. So we're gonna add more value to the platform We've already put over six million dollars into it, so I self I bootstrapped the beginning of it. It's really about getting it out to the market. We brought in an uh, inbound marketing team. We want to add more sales reps. We have three sales reps. We want to add four more. We find that you know even though it's a simple concept, it is going to take a little bit of actual one-on-one -on -one sales. Then we want to add customer success managers to it. So when you buy the Moz product and you have help, you, you're, you're going to need help somewhere along the line. So when you learn about what the product does, say you lose somebody, which happens all the time. There's a lot of turnover. You can literally come to us and our customer success managers are still going to be dead database people. So if you need to take on a small project, we're going to help you along with that. So we want to be that true partner. We built the company by responding within an hour to any question we ever had. 
and getting back to people within a day. So we're going to keep that, maintaining that, and we're going to truly love the customers that we have. And that's what we're adding people on for. Okay. One, one last question also related to finances. Um, what's the, what's the average, um, um, cost working with a customer and, and what is your, your, your cost and your team? So in other words, what is your average contract size? Um, or what do you expect it to be? And what is the cost it costs to you? It costs around a, our average customer cost for a small, say a small shop that has three to four DBAs in it. You're looking around a hundred thousand a year for okay. that. And our cost of supporting that, you know, we have a burn rate right now. We can support probably 40 customers with our current uh, infrastructure and we're at $220,000 a month burn rate. So um, we're not seeing, you know, we're seeing that our percentages of, of support is probably less than 20%. Wow. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. That was uh, Doug Sollinger, CEO of Vendita.